Well, tonight at 7, MIT is sounding the alarm as it enters another school year. The university says its incoming class will not be as diverse as in years past. NBC 10's Eli Rosenberg live in Cambridge. Eli, school says there is a big reason for this sudden adjustment in their admissions. What is it? Yeah, Corey, and MIT, one of the first universities to release this data about their incoming class. So we're talking about the class of 2028 here with the dean of admissions saying it was that Supreme Court decision back in 2023 that factored in and this year's class less diverse than previous ones. On a campus that prides itself on diversity, this evening news the Massachusetts Institute of Technology class of 2028 won't be as diverse as previous ones. It's not totally unsurprising, but it's still troubling. Right? Maryland professor that. Julie J. Park was a consulting expert for Harvard University back when it was sued over affirmative action. The Supreme Court's ruling on that case in 2023 and a similar one in North Carolina ending the practice of using race as a factor in college admissions. And now MIT releasing data on its first incoming freshman class since that ruling. We have decades of research that indicates that there are numerous um, educational benefits that are linked with engaging with racial diversity during the college years. MIT's Dean of Admissions saying 16% of students in the class of 2028 identified as black, Hispanic, Native American or Pacific Islander. That is down from 25% in recent years. And affirmative action was a policy that tried to make up for that, those different lived experiences just a little bit. Um, so, you know, it's problematic that we that, that it can't be used anymore. In and Tufts college. professor Natasha Wariku what says schools like MIT will need to really focus on areas like recruitment and financial aid going forward. Something MIT's president said today, the school is committed to. We need to seek out new approaches. We need to make sure that the opportunity pipeline is wide open, and we need to be prepared to think big and long term. And in addition to MIT here, we reached out to Harvard, Boston University, Boston College, Tufts, and Northeastern. Heard back from Tufts, heard back from Harvard. Both say they are not ready yet to release data about their incoming freshman classes, but Tufts saying it could in the coming weeks. Live in Cambridge, Eli Rosenberg, NBC 10 Boston. All right.